be so good. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the farm. Thank you, by the way, for participating in the homesteader diet voting. Um, for you guys who are just kind of picking up on this, I am eating only what is raised on our farm for the next 30 days. Uh, with some caveats, um, each week you guys will vote on an item or an ingredient uh, that I get to add every week to my diet with the caveat that we grow or raise that thing on our property. And it was pretty close between honey and blueberries this week. So um, we'll vote again on Sunday. Uh, so far, it is pretty Spartan, but I'm getting by. I'm not suffering at all. The honey definitely makes things a little bit sweeter and it adds that, that little variety that I need. So thank you guys. I'm gonna finish this cup up and then I'm gonna get ready to do my least favorite chore on our farm and that's wrangle sheep and clip hoofs and give shots. So that's kind of like a once a year thing for us here, eh, twice a year thing for us. And so those two days are kind of, uh, I dread them a lot, but I'm going to enjoy my Robo's tea with steamed goat milk before I go out and get dirty. <laughs> You ready to wrangle some sheep with me? Uh, yeah, let me yeah. get the proper gear. Yeah, get your proper gear on. Alright, just shoved a, some food in my mouth, some breakfast. It's days like this. I don't even know why we have sheep. Uh, we love them. They are economic, they are good for our property, but they are a pain in the butt to catch, inject, and clip their hoofs. We're also gotta do some banding today. So today, I am trying to find my zen, my center, and not have a total breakdown. <laughs> Got tons of injections. Uh, this is important for us, we use, we haven't fed the sheep yet because I need them to be distracted uh, in order to pin them properly. So we use CD&T. Um, we get all of this from Tractor Supply and our vet. Um, you know, this is the only input we put into our sheep. We don't worm them at all. They're hardy enough. We check them to see if they need to be wormed, but so far, We've got some really good breeding stock, um, and that's just another thing that we get to avoid uh, with this whole thing. So, uh, you guys, I dread this day. Like, to be honest, like, homesteading, raising your own food is not all fuzzy chicks collecting eggs in green pastures. There's a lot of work that goes into it, and uh, luckily I've got everybody on board willing to suffer with me on this one. We are... <laughs> Look how loud you are when you're hungry. So one, two, three. We're gonna clip them all. I'm gonna clip all of their hoofs, inject them with the CDMT, and then take them and castrate them. We decided that we're not gonna keep any of these males. These sheep are so prolific. We had a lot of twins that we're just gonna stay with Gimli. He's our main dude um, and he's doing a really, really good job. So we're kind of static. We've got as many lambs every year as we need to eat some for ourselves and sell some to others um, and keep our pastures down. And <laughs> we're gonna take care of them today and then we're probably gonna release them back in with Gimli in the next few weeks so that we can have some winter babies to eat our grass during the spring. So, okay guys, hold on tight. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, this is not my favorite chore. It's always a, an athletic event, um, but it is part of the choices that we're making and I'm trying not to trip over the fence. I love 
You guys, this is my younger brother, Mitchell. <laughs> he has yet to uh, take care of sheep with me, but we have castrated piglets together, so he knows how I can get. It's, it's a very special <laughs> bond. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> suffers together, which makes it better in the end. I don't know. <laughs> I've helped butcher a few animals on this farm. Mitchell's the only one that's helped me castrate. Oh, Ben. Yeah. Ben's helped me. Yeah. So. 14. Okay. So we got 14. Sheep. We need to vaccinate. We've vaccinated 14 sheep. some already. So we've got to castrate, clip, and inject all of them. We're getting all these cattle panels together. We'll feed them, we'll corral them, and then hope for the best. So we're gonna tie these cattle panels up to make, we always yeah. promise that we're gonna get like a shoot or something for the sheep, but uh, number one, we don't have any money. <laughs> Number two, we don't have time. So we're gonna use these cattle panels and kind of pinch the sheep in between them. <laughs> just need a baling twine or something. Turn on the end, dude. Yeah, but I need one on this end. Uh. Hey, sis. Can you go grab us some baling twine, sweetie? When I don't want to find one, <laughs> they're everywhere. When I need to find one, they're nowhere. <laughs> what is your favorite yeah. chore to do with dad? Um, it's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> probably going. Probably going to. Probably going to like when you have to pick up animals, it's probably the favorite thing to do. <laughs> what is your least favorite chore? Something like this when we have to wrangle animals or uh, chase them around. Although, on the plus side, you get a good night's sleep after this. So. <laughs> mm. Okay, Cade, close that one. And then. They know. So are we tying it to that two post and then putting them around Here. in between that pallet and stuff? No, so I'm going to tie this other one up to like that iron uh, cross, the yeah. iron post, and then we'll just kind of squeeze them in there. And hey, Brixton, can you go get the kiwi crook? Kiwi crook, where is it? Yeah, uh, in the tool shed. It should be in the tool shed. In the tool bucket. Yes, it should be there. So, uh, Big C, how do you feel about wrangling sheep with Dad? <laughs> be I can. Yep. <laughs> I can uh, be honest. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't like it because you know. <laughs> how come you don't like it? Be honest. <laughs> the dad gets angry at me whenever I do it. Something wrong. That's why I don't like it. Uh, I think dad just is angry with the sheep. I don't think he gets mad at you. But yeah. Dad gets stressed, so we don't really like it. I don't know. He's like doing it. really good so far, though, so. Yeah. Right? So far, so good. Oh. Hold on, just kidding. It's like a domino effect. <laughs> Oh, you're
I'll just grab them and like if you sit them in your lap. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna we're oh. not gonna clip okay, males they're, 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 so Yeah. They're just going they're gonna be dinner. Gotcha. They're just kind of mad. I'll give him shots, but I hate learning <clears throat> the same lesson over and over again. <laughs> what we should do is kind of close them group. in. Oh, good idea. I keep folding it. Yeah, you bring it in on that side. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Hey Mitch, yeah. we probably don't don't tie it off. Okay. Let's just let the boys be in charge of the gate because okay. we might just want to let them out as the yeah. we go. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And we might want to like just pinch them in a little bit more. Next one, Pam. Next. Here, boy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, pin pinch it in more, you guys. Mm -hmm. We're really just be running. It's okay, guys. The last baby. The last baby. I'm getting it. Yeah, I like it. You're easier than a, than a full grown woman. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm a little sweaty. Are you okay? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, my hands are hurt, but. You guys are doing awesome. My hands keep on getting pinched by these little things, and AJ keeps on squeezing his foot. Darn it. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry. Be careful of the hands. You're a eunuch now. He's unique. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a unique eunuch. Good. We're running. We're going. You're next. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good. This is a sub Q shot, so it goes under the skin. I'll just pick up a triangle of skin. Oh, that's not really good. There we go. And then you just go. Yep. There you go. Boom. Okay. Three, four more to go. <laughs> <laughs> you just become such good friends, you don't want to go anywhere. Yep. Okay. Great. 
great thing about this. Come on, sweetie. Go, go, go. go this is working. Oh, she's good. nice now. Did you see it? Hey, sweetie, it's okay. <laughs> Just gotta give you a pedicure. <laughs> Oh, okay. A pedicure and shots. CC is following the sheep. I know, huh? What is this business? Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> Did I get her too early? Nope, nope, we're ready. We're walking, and we're walking. We're walking, standing up really tall, so you get on your tiptoes. Then we go. Then we drop down. All right, last one. Okay. Don't go. Okay, Mitch, let her up. There we go. Okay, guys, everybody, thumbs up. We're done. Hallelujah. Please smash that like. This is one of our hardest chores on the farm, but this is the best it's ever gotten. So, having chutes and panels to separate the sheep totally helped, enclosing them totally helped. Um, one of these days, we will get nice infrastructure for our sheep. Totally it's probably not going to be a while. Yeah, thanks, Mitchell. Appreciate you. You're the man. I like cuddling. <laughs> he was the wrangler, cuddler, snuggler. <laughs> we'll see you later. We love you. We appreciate you. Bye bye. Bye.